because everyone's like, can I be a bridesmaid? I know, there was so many animals, I was like, You like what you see, boys? In the blush. Y'all wanna marry me now? Everybody does. Cause you can! Hey, cause you Welcome can! Welcome back to Star Blast. Today is the, the we're gonna do the marriage equality. Marriage quality, rally. Marriage quality vlog part three. Love is love, suck my hole. We won! <laughs> 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 so now we're drinking Australia and voted. Australia yes. voted. And they voted, yes. 61% majority for yes, so we won by a landslide, so fuck yes! So suck my hoe! <laughs> Love is love. We've got our good friend Samantha here. We're going to be boys today. This is me. the beautiful Samantha from the last vlog. And he's just as, good, just as beautiful as a boy as he is as a girl. And I'm obviously the prettiest of them all. Of course, of course. The bride to be. So there is parties everywhere. There's an art. There was a street party um, on Ligon Street at Trades Hall, but. Um, we oh, have, wait, it's just we've been cool. we've been partying uh, in our own home, and apparently they're not letting anybody in capacity. So we're gonna go straight to circuit and go see all our friends and hug everyone and love everyone and smile and clap and laugh and cheer and be so happy that we are accepted in society in Australia because everybody voted yes. Everyone wants to ask. Everyone wants to see <laughs> us get married. Married. Married? Because we're fiancés. I want to marry Fiancé. So technically we are engaged. There's my ring. Ross doesn't have his on because his finger's too fat right now. Yeah, so that's I can't okay. His it. finger's too fat right now. <laughs> Is that the actual fucking reason? Yeah. Yes. You can. <coughs> yes. We've been engaged for four years. We've been together for six years. Such a long engagement. And uh, so the postal survey plebiscite bullshit thing has come back and the Australian public has said uh, yes, 61% for yes, 30 Seven or eight percent no, um, and there was two percent that were that couldn't be counted because they must have fucked up. What like you know what they, they can't tick a fucking box because no. they're idiots, or they put glitter in they it. They put glitter in it or fucking knives. No, yeah. Mm. Apparently, put people put razor, apparently put people put like razor razors in their thing. So fucking put razors up your cunt now because we won. Mm. We. You know what? Like we knew we were gonna win at the start anyway. You know, like you know what? Well, I, I knew. I hoped it could have turned out like a Brexit or a, a Trump, 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 yeah, a Trump situation yeah, in Australia. But I was quietly positive and hopeful that it would be coming, could come back as a yes. And I it wasn't said, it a good birthday present. And today is my yeah, birthday, exactly. so uh, it's your this birthday. is the best birthday present Happy I could have birthday. wished for. I get to marry the lovely man that I love, little bun girl here. Well, uh, so they they announced it at. 10 a.m. This morning. This yeah. morning. And we're, like, a lot of people were met in the city, but we, the, it was, like, the feeling was obviously bittersweet and, like, everyone was feeling uneasy and anxious and stuff like that. And we didn't really feel well this morning. So we d decided not to go. So we just watched and it on TV. So we watched it on TV. And, and now the official results of the Australian Marriage Law Postal Survey. For the national results... Yes responses, 7,817,247, representing 61.6% of clear responses. That's 61.6% of clear responses, yeah, yes. No responses, 4,873,987. I recorded you recorded TV it, but so you I... didn't record our reactions. Actually, I probably well, we didn't really I react. I probably that... wouldn't have let I... you. Well, I um, didn't really record react. me. I didn't really react that much because I got a phone call soon after from a, an old friend, and she was like, "Oh, you should be ecstatic," but I was like, "Yeah." I am. I'm happy, but, but it should have been that way anyway. We shouldn't have had to have it yeah. in the first place. Yeah. is the problem. So it was. It's yeah. bittersweet, and either yeah. way, yes, and any it... nose is. There, there should be no no. It still means there's 40% there's... of people in Australia that voted against us, our rights, and think that we are, aren't are worthy of having equal, equal rights, equal to, the, rights to them. Yeah. So that's sad, but they can get fucked now because the majority of Australia voted yes. So if we're walking down the street and, and someone says faggot or someone says this or someone says that, I'm going to say, well, Australia voted yeah, yes, so, so you can get fucked. Aha! You got a um, phone call from uh, ex-work mate. 
From about two years ago. From about two years ago. And I thought that was really sweet. And then literally everyone started messaging us. And I got a little bit emotional. I was a little bit sad. Samantha even wrote a little post. She wrote a little post like saying, oh, um, the first thing I thought of was um, us, like our, us two, and that um, that you just can finally marry. And like, I think like that was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and then like the whole way through like i think we we didn't go out until like lunchtime for lunch oh and then as for the, girl, breakfast. the girl at the the lunch the restaurant oh like, yeah when we when we because oh, i had well i didn't have all these badges but i had the yes badge on um earlier and she said she said she said congratulations to us and um she said i saw your badge and she said she said she was watching this morning and she's so happy and it's nice to see that the rest of the community and just the general public uh supporting us and and yeah behind and our, our our electorate did the, 85 the Mel melbourne ports were 85 percent 85 percent and only 13 percent no vote so that's where we live and that makes me so much happy i we felt such a, a feeling of relief and i felt so much more content the last few months have been really shit for everybody and i think I don't, I'm not one to be super emotional or, or sensitive, but I think looking back, it's really made me, it, I have been very negative and angry and, and depressed. I haven't been enjoying work and lots of shit, but today I feel content. I don't give a shit anymore. I don't give a shit about anything. It doesn't matter. This is, don't have to worry. Know, don't have, don't have to worry about anything. We walked down the street holding hands and I was like, I don't give a shit anymore. Too blessed to be stressed, as they all say. Yes. 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 Um, Pearls of wisdom from <laughs> Not of Are we done? Yeah, well, anyway, you're going to follow us. We're going to do a bit of a vlog. You're going to come to us with the We're going to go to Sega. We're going to say hello. Maybe we'll just like some, rock up like on a beat. Interviews, interview some friends and all that shit. Or just be like. If we can fucking hear him. Well, how, how do you feel? Yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go. We're going to. Let's go. We're going out. All right. Catch a cunny. That's it. Catch a cunny. <laughs>
But like, I don't know if it's like at home. Like, dude, I, I haven't seen my cement for like for two weeks. Six years is a long time. And to me, that was like, girl, I fucking cried about Uber. I was like, fucking hell. Like, to me, that is a fucking, that is a fucking goal. And no one can like, fuck the world. Like, you know, like, Equality is equality, and to me, honestly, like these people have been together for 60 years, they have the right to marry each other, and now it's finally happened. And that was the best part of my day, knowing that my best friends can get married. I don't want to fucking go on camera, but like, <laughs> no, but like, legit though, like, fucking cheers to fucking S. Well, I can't say S. Christian. S. S. Frank name. Christian and Russell. We've been together for 60 years, and now I finally have the chance to marry. having some baklava because he loves his sweet. I had a bit of gin pizza. We need, a, we need a high five right now. High five. We did it. Sticky high five. Sticky, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. We did it. We did it. We did it. So this is proof the fight is not over. Our Uber driver that we ordered saw us, slowed down, and then kept driving. So I've reported him to Uber and hopefully he will not have any more uber privileges and we've ordered a new one so hopefully they're a little bit kinder than the previous uber driver um, yes there was a boat and it was yes there was a 60% turnout in favour of marriage equality but they're still bigots and 
small-minded, stupid people in our country, and it has to stop. So let's hope that in the future this kind of shit doesn't happen. So fuck you to that Uber driver that saw us, me and my partner Russell in our wedding veils, having a good night, happy, and celebrating the yes vote. But then he drove away because he saw us and thought, oh, I'm not going to pick those people up. Fuck you. So we're back from the after party events of the yes vote. How did my makeup stand up? Mm. Pretty good. Pretty I'm, good. I think I'm a little bit shiny. I don't know, unless it's just a highlight, but we're both shiny, but it's okay. We've got our badge and our Gosleme. We're going to watch a movie. We've had a good day. I'm feeling... Good birthday for Christian. Yes, thank you very much. Happy birthday to me. Um, so this and is... Now, I'd just like to thank mm. all the people that we saw out today. Mm. They were very sweet and they were very lovely. And we met two lovely girls at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. And we gave them a lift. We did. Um, down here. Um, so that they're close to home. So it didn't cost them they too much. They were going to walk all the way... Home. From Four hours, like Smith Street more. to Hampton. I don't know why she wanted to do that, but I was like, we're going to Elwood, so come with us. I was like, what the fuck? At least cut your journey in half. So, yeah. I was annoyed that I had to walk across the road to the fucking kebabs shop. Like. True, sure. And waiting for the Uber. And oh. the first Uber. I already did a little bit about this, but continue. First Uber. Fucking drove past. Mm. Didn't start first time ever, especially on this day. How dare you? you think? We had a good day. It was a yes vote result from the National Voluntary Survey Bullshit. So, Bluistic Bluro. We are going to get married next year, and you're all invited. So, watch out. By saying your... that you're all invited. Meaning, we will make a video and then you yeah. can watch it. Because <coughs> I can't afford that shit. We can't fucking... afford everybody. I'm so sorry. We can't afford everyone. We'll try our best, but, mm. you know, if you want to pitch in, then, you know. Oh, yes. Maybe we'll make it a ticketed event. I think, you know, it's enough of a, you know, you know we've got enough of a following to make it a ticketed event. hundred bucks. You know, like, a, like it's a show. No. Nah. No, we don't. No. So, here is Christian and Russell, not Esther and Bungo, Christian and Russell signing off for the Marriage Equality Vlog, vlog Part 3. We finally got our yes vote and the next step is to pass it through Parliament. There is a bill that is going to be hopefully passed by Christmas this year, so uh, fingers crossed for that. Um, and we're going to be able to get married next year, aren't we honey? Yes. Yeah. What I've been planning for a very long time. You have. So, here we go. My name's Christian. My name's Russell. And together we are Christian uh, and Russell. Zerino Brown. Brown. Zerino Brown. That's going to be our hyphenated name. We're going to hyphenate. Because we're way. cute like that. <laughs> See you, Mama. You need I to get to closer to than that. Oh. You're too short. Do it. Your arms are too little. Goodbye. We love you all. If you would like to subscribe to Star by Esther Bye. for more vlogs, for more Bye. tutorials, for more Bye. of me and Russell Bye. and Russell and me and Esther Bye. and Bud going all that kind of shit, Ugh. hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell button. Um, we... We are, doing, we are doing this because we are just having fun and enjoying it. We love just being able to create, create shit and make videos and mm. have fun. So It's if documenting you wanna, our life together. And, and at the end of the day, in 20 years time, we'll be able to look back on this and be able to look at it and be like, you know, we, you know, be able to see... How embarrassing. Yeah. How we were and we were to show our friends and family and if we ever have kids, our kids and our grandkids. Our kids, our kids. Us when we were younger and it's cool. So 
you know, and you know, I don't really care if you subscribe or not because would you I do. Know? Well, yeah, you do. He looks at all the statistics and all that kind of shit, but I don't care because at the end of the day, I'm having fun with it, and that's all that matters. So, live your life, enjoy your life, do what you want, get married to whoever you fuck you want because you can now, and um, I love everybody. So. I love Gosla May. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I love you all. Have a good night. Here's to a more open and accepting Australian society. Um, so here's to the future. Yeah? High five. I love you, honey. I love you too. Oh, food kisses don't like her. Oh, whatever. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. How dare you? You put fucking tartar sauce on my bro makeup brushes. You must have around. Tartar sauce on my brush. This is not tartar sauce. It's garlic. Tzatziki, whatever the fuck it is. Well, it makes your brush better because it tastes good. <laughs> I enjoy the very times. Uh. <laughs>